it's so interesting the things that people post and and what it triggers in us uh, my friend microphone on Instagram posted this today and uh, as a child I actually lived in Medina Celi Spain and this happened a few days before Christmas in 1973 and we were actually in Madrid when it occurred um, as a young child I saw a lot of political violence at the end of Franco's life. We came back to America in uh, 1976. Um, politics in Spain were really dicey. Franco had been in power since pretty much the 1930s and he was at the end of his life and didn't have an heir. And uh, there was a lot of political violence. Um, so as a small child, I saw a lot of political upset that a lot of people don't see. Uh, my father was an activist, a union man. Uh, he fought for political rights and civil rights and, and workers' rights. And I, too, have also my whole life been an activist. And I attribute a lot of that to what I saw in Spain as a kid and, and the, the things I heard my father and his friends talk about as a child. Um, I witnessed a lot at a young age. Um, and it makes me very sad to see this, too, because... If it weren't for the end of Franco's power in Spain, I honestly think we probably would have stayed there. The only reason we left is because things were getting really bad. Uh, anyway, just a bit of my history and Spain's history and political history and, and all that. But yeah, this it's kind of triggered me today. And not really, I mean, yes, in a bad way, but not necessarily in a bad way. It's just very sad what other humans will do to other humans and how bad politics are for just everyday people. Anyway, I wanted to share that. Have a great day, y'all.